Here's your weather video for this Tuesday. It's the 26th day of December. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray and some nice rainfall amounts uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas morning uh, across central Alabama. These are um, rainfall totals off of the National Weather Service Birmingham uh, radar <clears throat> and showing uh, one to two inches of rain widespread, some amounts above that. The Birmingham Airport, 2.08 inches of rain. But we're 6.95 inches down for the year there, and there's not going to be any chance to make it up. Uh, maybe a tiny bit on late Thursday into Friday. We'll see that in just a minute. But some places like southern uh, Hale County there, south of Greensboro, uh, Marengo County, uh, picked up uh, 2.6 inches of rain, according to to the radar and well that uh, rainfall is really good news because we still uh, continue to be uh, in drought conditions across Alabama this is the drought monitors of last Thursday it will be updated um, in two days and it'll show some improvement I think there that large area of red uh, generally in the I-59 corridor from Birmingham to uh, Fort Payne uh, in extreme drought uh, not so much help for the northwest corner of the state hopefully they'll get uh, some additional beneficial rains down the road, but a large part of uh, north and central Alabama, either D2 or D3 drought, some improvement has been noted over south Alabama, um, and that's good news. Now, the bad news is that um, uh, one of the maps I was seeing uh, from NOAA says that to end the drought uh, across north and central Alabama, we'd need 12 inches of rain in a month, and uh, we don't like that much rain in that short a period of time, or more like 18 to 19 inches of uh, rain over three months. So, um, you know, hopefully rain will be coming our way. This is the uh, GFS uh, upper air pattern across North America showing the uh, pressure anomalies, big uh, ridge of high pressure over southern Canada, uh, just about from the Pacific to the Atlantic. Uh, the North American landscape is dominated by this huge upper low uh, centered there in southeastern Nebraska early on this Tuesday morning. Um, and that system is going to be a weather maker for us as it drifts to the southeast over the next four or five days, eventually ends up in the Tennessee Valley. And uh, let's kind of put it in motion here so you can see that happen. It meanders over Missouri. Uh, then it finds its way down into um, western Tennessee here by Thursday night. And, oh, look, it's over north, northeast Alabama by Friday evening. So uh, we all know weatherman's woe is one of these upper-level le upper level lows. And um, it could come to pass that it is uh, a, a bit of a woe for us here in Alabama. We'll see. Uh, troughiness just continues all the way through the first, another strong upper-level low, uh, drifting down into the south, another system coming out of the Pacific Southwest. The El Nino pattern is really kicking in. Looks like we've got another system in here on Thursday the 4th, and then another system. So uh, rain uh, is going to be in the forecast a good bit there. And uh, with all this cold air around, could we end up with any kind of snow? This morning, no chance of that. The uh, cold front is in western Georgia. It's taken it a long time to get there, but it's finally out of Alabama. It took till you know, last evening to get some of that rain out of here. Uh, over eastern sections of the state, still raining in Atlanta, as I record this just after 11 p.m. on uh, Christmas night. The uh, low there over um, central Nebraska has been causing lots of fits for folks in Kansas. Uh, North Dakota, uh, South Dakota, where they've had wintry and blizzard conditions, as a matter of fact, uh, in those areas. As we go through time today here in Alabama, you see that we're dry. Wednesday, more of the same, dry. Temperatures today and Wednesday are going to be in the 50s. Uh, we'll drop down into the um, lower third, well, probably lower middle 30s tonight for your Wednesday morning. A little bit of patchy fog out there this morning. If you got to drive, heading back to work, um, you probably run into that. I wouldn't be surprised to see some dense fog advisories, but there is a layer of stratus that uh, might keep that from happening. As we go into Thursday, uh, the upper low there is now over Missouri. It's uh, trying to work its way down here. We see some snows breaking out there south of St. Louis, back across the southern part of the state. Here in Alabama, we're still high and dry. We will see increasing cloudiness, though, over the northern half of the day over the northern half of the area during the day. It'll become a little breezy at time, uh, times, winds gusting to about 20 to occasionally 25 miles an hour out of the west as uh, another um, surge of cooler air comes our way. Um, watching for the chance of a little light snow or light rain late Thursday night, no accumulation. Uh, it could be the same thing on Friday. Uh, but let's see, let's see how the GFS resolved. This is the 18Z run. 
showing Thursday at 3 o'clock. No rain in Alabama, no precipitation. Uh, they got some in there in uh, southeastern uh, Missouri, uh, into southern uh, Illinois, western Kentucky. Um, and then we're getting on toward Friday morning. A little bit of light snow works its way into northwest Alabama. And I'll caveat this by saying that European doesn't agree with this at all. Uh, it does bring some precip in here later on Friday. Kind of uh, maybe mixes it with a little snow toward the end. That would be interesting. This is 6 a.m. on Friday, uh, showing a little bit more light snow spreading across uh, the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama. It's still with us there through the mid-morning hours. And uh, for areas about calm and north, US 278 into the Tennessee Valley or to the Tennessee border, it could be a little bit of snow there. We'll see. It's beginning to exit the eastern sections uh, by Friday. Now, is this going to happen? Nah, who knows? Temperatures going to be in the 40s uh, on uh, on Friday, unless we see something unusual happen with dynamic cooling. It's happened before. Um, and it's not that it couldn't happen again, but for right now, I have to tell you, snow fans, no accumulations expected. And I know that is the bane of your existence. It was the bane of my existence uh, when I was a kid and uh, loved the snow. I still love the snow. So maybe we'll get some in here. We'll see. Auburn's, of course, going up to um, music uh, to the Music City Bowl in Nashville. That's going to be a fun game to watch with Maryland. And it looks like they'll be clearing out. Can't rule out a little bit of a shower there, but I think it's out of there by game time. Their temperature is going to be in the 40s. It's not going to be a real fun week. But it's always a fun week to be in Nashville, uh, right? Uh, Alabama fans heading out to um, California. Uh, this is the first time we've really seen rain down into the Los Angeles area. Uh, let's go back a little bit here and just kind of set the stage. That Pacific system is moving on uh, on shore there Friday night into Saturday. Bring some rain into the L.A. area there on Saturday the 30th. That's next Saturday. Uh, a little bit of snow in the uh, southern Sierras there. That'll be interesting. Uh, still some rain in there, uh, you know, during the afternoon hours on Saturday. And then as we get into uh, New Year's Eve Sunday, systems moving on out. Looks like New Year's Day will feature much, much nicer weather there and all the rain and all that is out of the way. But uh, I've kind of... Uh, <clears throat> taking the focus off of Alabama here for a moment. Let's go back. Get into the weekend. It's going to be a nice weekend, partly cloudy, cool. Uh, highs on Saturday being in the 40s and lower 50s. Highs on Sunday will be some 30 to 5 degrees warmer. And uh, then we'll have to keep an eye on what happens on New Year's Day. Uh, interesting start to 2024. Here you see us going through um, Saturday night into Sunday. And uh, then by Monday, this is a pre-dawn here about 6 a.m., We've got um, another system, another trough, another upper level low moving uh, through Missouri in that big troughy pattern. And we see light rain over a good bit of uh, the Cumberland Plateau, western Tennessee, some light snows over uh, western Kentucky, and uh, rain breaking out from uh, central Mississippi back through Louisiana, northeast Texas, with some heavier rain along the Gulf Coast. As we move toward the mid-morning hours, uh, the rain uh, or the snow in uh, Kentucky is still there. Everyone else is liquid precipitation, except look there. By noon, colder air trap there in uh, eastern Tennessee could be changing the rain over to snow, perhaps even down into northeast Alabama. Pretty good, decent soaking rain uh, for the remainder of us. Uh, and then some of that rain changes over to snow on the backside. That's perfectly plausible solution heavier snow there in the smokies eastern tennessee down to the mountains of northeast georgia also western uh western north carolina but you can see you got a little bit of snow here in north alabama during the late afternoon as things turn a little colder and that snow sort of sticks over sticks with us over northeast alabama into the evening hours and um, it's out of here by midnight. So that going to happen. We'll watch and see. It will be certainly interesting. Deeper into the week two voodoo period, uh, we see dry and cool conditions uh, for Alabama. Another system tries to move through South Alabama there on Friday the 5th. But that's really all there is. So no real drought-busting rains. What we got last night may be about as good as we get. These are temperatures off the National Blender Models for today. 
showing uh, temperatures in the uh, middle, upper 50s, some 60s over southeast Alabama, southeastern sections of central Alabama. And here's the overall look at how it's going to be uh, for the next uh, 10 to 12 days. 66 uh, was you know our high yesterday. We won't see 60s anytime soon again, so I hope you enjoyed it. 59 today, 58 on Wednesday, falling back into the 40s for Thursday, Friday, and probably Saturday but then back into the 50s briefly for Sunday and Monday before we go back uh, to upper 40s, lower 40s, uh, overnight lows near freezing uh, toward the end of the period. Now, last night we dropped um, the latest episode of Weather Brains, and it is a fabulous interview with the uh, incomparable Tom Skilling, meteorologist WGN in Chicago, 45 years, inspired lots of meteorologists, lots of people to learn about the weather, and he is just one of the finest in the world. It is a great, fun interview. You will love it. Go back and listen to it. Also, make sure you caught Greg Carbon's show from last week. All those meteorological memories of 2023. It was fun walking back through time. Weather Brains is the weekly netcast that's all about weather. This morning weather briefing is my pleasure to deliver to you. I'll be doing it all week um, right here uh, every morning. Have update on the blog. Lots of notes there. Uh, to fill you in further on uh, what's going on. I'll be back tomorrow to do this again. And until that time, when I get the opportunity, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.